Hi, I'm Frank Peters, and I'm back for another episode on editing audio with Adobe Audition. And as I've mentioned previously, I've done a lot of podcast shows, uh, just shy of 500, which means I've spent a lot of time in Adobe Audition. Now, pumping out 50 to 60 audio podcasts per year, I felt a lot of pressure to just get the job done and ship it. And what I now know is just how little I knew about the final steps, the real quality steps, which are uh, going to be covered today, compression and loudness. I've got some sample files we're going to take a look at, and uh, we'll explore this whole subject. Uh, your audio is going to sound a lot better after we cover today's subjects. Let's get started, shall we? Okay. So, uh, let's see. Uh, let's start off with uh, something that's uh, pretty popular these days is Here's Hello by Adele. And I'm showing you this just to, so we can both see, uh, you know, what's going on here. It's, it's loud. It's red. It's... Now, it couldn't be any louder. Um, some of the jargon that I'm learning, there's no way this music can breathe. It's just loud. It's all the way up to zero dB. Um, now, let's take a look at, uh, pulled out a couple of others. Some of the shows that I uh, like to uh, listen to myself. Here's a Radio Lab, one of their recent episodes. And one thing we can see right here is that uh, a lot of the peaks seem to be just shaved off. It's, it's not a natural uh, waveform. It's uh, below zero dB, but it's just like somebody used a razor or knife and cut the wave signal off at, uh, what is that, about minus one and a half. So you have the feeling that there's some uh, frequency response there that's uh, missing. It's uh, turned up really loud, but uh, perhaps sacrificing some uh, quality. Uh, another one of my favorite shows, This American Life. Well, what a difference we can see right away, huh? The, uh, there, there's none of that razor blade going on here. We are peaking out though. We're going all the way to zero dB and that doesn't sound right. None of us are going to enjoy listening to those parts. It's going to distort. There's some more right there. So there's looks like there's a step missing here in the production of this episode of This American Life. It's certainly loud. So let's just check the amplitude statistics down here it is for me anyway, a new feature in Adobe Audition. If we scan the selection, we can see, well, it's minus 15.66 LUFS. Those are loudness units. My relatively uh, new emphasis it's, uh, comes from the broadcast industry. None of us like to watch TV and then have the volume be set just the way we like it for the dialogue and music and whatever show we're watching. And then the show cuts to commercials and it's too loud. Uh, there have been laws passed in both the EU and the United States to, um, you know, take those loud commercials down a notch. And so there are new standards. The new standards are, uh, well, for our purposes, let's say minus 19 LUFS for podcasts. A lot of times when we go to dual mono like this, it translates down to like minus 16 LUFS uh, per channel. So this, somebody's done a good job of... Uh, balancing loudness here, I probably just would have chopped off uh, some of those uh, peaks here. Now, there's a brand new podcast out there called Serial, 
and they have been famously successful attracting a really large audience for the story that they shared last year. They have a new series this year, and here's episode one. Now, as we look at this, let's do a quick scan of this selection here. Yeah, it it's reporting much louder, minus 19.88, almost 20, minus 20 LUFS, but it's obvious that the uh, wave signal here has lots of room to breathe. It's not pushed all the way up to zero dB, and as you can tell, it's not truncated off like with a razor blade like we saw with uh, Radiolab. So uh, I guess one question that comes to mind for me as I look at this is part of the uh, success and popularity of a show like Serial due to the actual post-editing on the audio that they do. They've got a nice sound, at least as it looks here to us. All right, so let's go back to my buddy Jim sent me this file. Remember this? And we've done noise reduction on it, and we've cleaned up the file. And now, of course, uh, I'd like the overall loudness of this clip to be louder. Now, here's his big problem here is he's got peaks here and to a lesser extent peaks here. This is people laughing. Just take a quick listen. And there we go. Ha, ha, ha. All right. So what I used to do, and Jim and I did when we were on Skype together a month ago, we would just take a chunk of the audio file like this, use our pop-up amplify tool right here and add just like that 7 db to this section now that's not really doing what we want to the file it just raised everything and we still have a lot of that even that section and i could do it again but doesn't it kind of give you the feeling that there's got to be a better way well, there is, and here's what here's what I've been learning. Okay, so I like to tell everybody I've done almost 500 podcasts, but I've learned some things only very recently. Here's the new technique of how I would improve loudness for this clip. We're going to start with amplitude and compression. Select the single band compressor. And what I've learned to do here is to line this up with the clip, with the audio file right over here. And my first setting is the threshold. I'm setting this to minus 15 dB. So anything above minus 15 dB is going to be compressed. And you'll see what that allows us to do. Now it's going to compress it on every two and a half, uh, you know, signal dB above 15 is going to be compressed down to one. I'm going to increase that just because we have such a big increase above that level, just like that. Attack and release are pretty standard. We're not adding any gain. I'm going to apply this to the whole file now. Watch what happens. All right, so I still have these peaks in the file, but they've been compressed. All right, now if I do a amplitude statistics right here, it's going to show me I'm coming in at minus 30 LUFS. So now here's a new tool in Adobe Audition, Match Loudness. So here I'm going to reach over here to my files area, drag Jim's file into match loudness and it does a quick analysis and confirms it's minus 31 LUFS and there are other statistics 
there too, but for our purposes, that's what we see, minus 31. Now we're going to take it up to minus 19 is the kind of rule of thumb for podcast shows. But we, you know, within a tolerance of 1 dB, we're going to keep it flexible. But we want our max true peak level minus 1.5. We don't want to go anywhere near 0 dB. All right, that's all we have to do. Click Run. And let's adjust the scale over here so we can see what's really happened. And we have now a file that, well, let's scan it and confirm. It's minus 19.35 LUFS. It did exactly what we wanted. You can see right here, it did. It took a razor blade and trimmed the audio file right there where it had to. That was the largest section of this audio file, but it gave everything a nice boost. And uh, we're going to have a file that uh, sounds very nice. And I do something that You're going to be happy with the results you get from this process. All right, let's take one of my files. Just let's do it again, just so we see what we're doing. Let's come in here and do single band compressor again. And again, it remembers it's lined up on minus 15. And just change the scale there so we can see a little bit more. So again, it's going to transform the file and take some of these peaks out, which allows us then to apply loudness across the file. This time I'm going to go down to 2.5. These are my two favorite values on the ratio. Since I don't have a lot of peaking, I'm going to use a little lower ratio. Apply that across the file. And I get a beautiful looking file now. It's, let's, amplitude statistics right now, minus 30, almost minus 31. Let's take this out of here and bring my file in. Confirms minus 31. We're going to use the same values, minus 19. Run match loudness. It looks scary, but we're going to change the scale here. And see, again, we have a very nice looking file. Let's scan it. It's coming in right at minus 19. The next to the last step now, we've got this just the way we want it. We're going to change the sample type now and go back to stereo, just like that. And we're close. There's still more I want to do to this file. But just like that, we've created a dual mono track. It'll play out of both left and right speakers on just about any device. We've improved the loudness. Let's take one last look here. And this is pretty typical when you go from mono to dual mono, you're going to go from minus 19 to minus 16 loudness units, which is you know, you, this podcast now could be picked up by This American Life and played on one of their shows. It's good quality. It's going to sound great. And it's plenty loud. That's exactly what you want. huh? All right. Well, that's it for today's show, Loudness and Compression. It's one of the final steps you'll take in improving your audio quality for your video or your audio podcast. Well, thanks so much for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.